OK, so I'm going to work through a second example of using Prim's algorithm in a matrix. OK, so we're going to start, let's say, start from A again. OK, so we're going to start from A. Um, no, let, let, I'm going to change my mind here. Let's see exactly how it works starting at, let's say, D. OK, so let's say we're going to have to start from D. Um, so we're going to start at D, so we put the number 1 on top of the D. We delete the rest of the row because that's to make sure that we don't get any uh, cycles okay, forming. And I look down the column D and I go, right, the shortest edge is the number 2 there. So uh, D to E, so that connects E, delete the rest of the row. And I make note of it down here, so I've connected D to E firstly. Then I'm looking down both D and E. I've got 5, 8, 7, 4, 7, 6, 1, and 3. So the shortest of those is the 1. So that connects E to C. So E to C, 1. Okay, and now I'm looking down all three of those. So I've got 2, 4, 3, 5, 8, 4, 3, 6, 7. So the shortest of those is the 2. Delete the rest of the row. So that connects me to A. So I've got C, A now, uh, with 2. Now I'm looking down A, C, D, and E. I've got 3, 3, 4, 3, 8, 4, 6, and 3. So I've got four threes to really choose from here. I can choose whichever one I like. So I'm going to choose this one, that 3 there, E to F. Okay, delete the rest of the row, that connects me to F. So I'm now looking at 3, 4, 8, 6 and 6. The shortest one of those is the 3, so that connects A to B. 3, so B is the last one to be connected. Write the number 6, circled, Make sure, making sure they are circled at the top. And so we've got the total minimum spanning tree is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, and that is one of, well, it could well have been four different minimum spanning trees because I had four choices for um, this one. Okay, so there may well be four or more minimum spanning trees. Okay, but uh, definitely at least four. So that's how the uh, Prim's algorithm works in a matrix in this case.